again, friends. Yeah, yeah. Hope school is going well. You're getting your work in and you're enjoying the day. Um, so today our shout out is to our sixth graders. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, you guys are one of our favorite classes. Do you know how much we love you? Watch this! Ah! Oh, I lost my ball. There it is. Woo! Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. Okay, that was fun. <sighs> but we really do miss you, all of you. Anyway, today we're going to be talking about the fourth petition, which is give us this day our daily bread, and the fifth petition, which is forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Yeah, so let's begin today. We'll talk about daily bread. Yeah! So, what is bread? That's a good question. Have you been in the dictionary lately? Oh, of course. So, from the dictionary, uh, bread is, well, it's a food made from flour, uh, water, and yeast. And other leaving agents, leaving? Leavening, leavening maybe? Yeah. Oh, okay, leavening yeah. agents mixed together and baked. So it's food, it's nourishment. Yep. It's the bread and the wine that we use with Eucharist. Daily bread. It's sustenance, which means something that sustains us or supports us. Mm. It's encouragement, it's strength. It's the food that one needs in order to live. Sounds good. So it's kind of the basics of life that we need. And... And what? It even includes money. What? Daily bread is money? Yeah. A person earns his bread at work. Oh, yeah. So I can go to the stores. Yeah. Then my it. bread on bread. You got it. All right. You got it. Sounds good. Oh, hey, welcome. Today we have brought a master chef in. His name is Pastor Terry. I've also invited Pastor Terry over here Hi. in for a fabulous meal that our chef has prepared for us. Let's all welcome past Chef Nordheim! Yay! Yay! We are so excited for you to join us oh, today. Yeah, 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 Oscar, do you, do you, I like it. I'm so excited to be here too, yeah, yeah, you betcha. Uh, today's a daily bread food, yeah, that's our conversation it's today. It's what, daily bread? Daily bread, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sure. Would you like that? Dad? Yeah. Oh. Well, well, this is amazing. I'm really curious to see what you've made for us today. Oh well, okay. Let's see. Let me get that. Here we go. Um, yeah, I brought it just for you. Oh, what is it? What is it? Oh. Yeah, here we go. Just for you. I prepared this fine meal just for you. Oh, yay! And one for you, yeah. <laughs> Look at pickles. Yeah, you see, we have. We have we had the pickle, yeah, the yeah. Whip, we had the strawberry with, with, with whipped cream even, huh? Oh. And, a, and a banana with, with chocolate sauce. Oh. Oh, that's so good, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, chef, I don't see any bread. Things yeah. like daily bread. Oh, yeah, well, sure, you bet it on. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, let's, let's begin, how about, we, let's begin with the pickle. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, the pickle, oh, is it? Crisp little pickle, oh, delightful, <laughs> yeah, 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 just chopped on. Oh, that was really good. <laughs> yeah. Do I have to eat the whole thing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, forget the pickle. Okay, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay. uh, how about um, mm, how about the strawberry with the whipped cream? Oh, that's mm -hmm. even better. Yeah, oh, that's the strawberry. Oh, yeah, the whipped cream. The strawberry bread and color, and oh, with the greeny <laughs> on the end, and a little bit of whipped cream on there somewhere. Oh, and Oh, 
Well, there's yeah. more there. Yeah, Ooh. you go for that. I am Ooh. Ooh, I'm hey, so Oh, don't excited. get that on my script. I don't know what to do then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have to add a little, let's see, the chocolate sauce. Oh, yeah. Chocolate sauce? <laughs> we add a little sugar, a little bit of water, some oh. cocoa. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, stop it. <laughs> On the side, there oh, we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pickles and bananas oh, are really good. Oh, isn't this wonderful? Oh, my goodness. Oh, yum, 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 yum. That's the perfect meal. Yeah, that's the way oh. it should be. Oh, oh, but wait now, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Well, what? what? <laughs> well, of oh. course, daily bread isn't just the food, you know, it's everything around us. Go on, tell us more. Oh, yeah, you see the daily bread? That's a gift from God. Oh, it's the food, yeah, yeah, but, mmm, daily bread is the food, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's also the basics of life. Oh, let's see, safe homes. Yeah, 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 yeah. shelter. It's, oh, uh, your, your bed. Oh, my oh, God. Yeah. Uh, not, not yet, bed. not yet. No, oh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, it's clothes. Even some of the toys the kids play with. Yeah. I have... Yeah. I can play with my banana. Oh. <laughs> it could be a toy. I still have more pickles too. I'm a little bit pickles it's, around. It's all the things in your home and your health. It's the air that you breathe. Oh, it's being able to go to school and learn when that's possible. Anyway, I'm learning all about this today. That someday you may be able to go to work. Then, if you learn, you know. Yeah. And and it's the job that they go to provide money for food and everyday necessities for your families. Oh. I'm tired just thinking about it all. It's, it's even the government. Daily bread is when we help someone else out in our community to make sure we have all the basics of our life. Mm. And that's why we have this food shelf and the other places where we can help yeah. people out. I hear we're collecting oh. for the food shelf. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's, it's all about this here. See, the, the heart. The, yeah, the, the heart. The, yeah, we'll the take heart. the heart. Let's yeah, get the heart. Store. There, there. Oh, I yeah. want to try it. Oh. Uh, no. I don't think that's done. No, 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 no. It's more daily bread. It's 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 <laughs> it's it's one of the the fruits of the spirit. You know what I mean? Oh it's, no, I don't understand because I tried to eat it. It's not a good it's fruit. It's not a fruit like that. No, no, <clears throat> no. It's it's one of the fruits of the spirit, like love and love. joy. Oh, I can make a heart with my hands. And joy and peace and patience. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, you got to get those hands together. Oh. <laughs> And <laughs> kindness oh, yeah. and goodness and faithfulness and self-control. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So let's remember to forgive one another too. You can eat. You can't eat those fruits, but you can live them out, and you can share them. Yes. So God gives us enough every day, and there's abundance. Ah, oh, yeah. There we go. Sure, of what's here. needed in the world for everyone. And God asks us to share with one another. Thank you, Linda. Yeah, You're just welcome. stuff it in there. I need to drink a lot of little <laughs> Pastor Carrie. I'm getting really thirsty. Oh, yeah, cool. I, like I know that's too. really healthy to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It, it, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. The mana underground, you know, that was yeah. that was bug poop, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, God God made a deal yeah. with the bugs to help the people they fed. Whoa. Okay. True. What? Do you think I tell lies? <laughs> well, I don't know, but that was very interesting, Pastor or Chef Terry. <laughs> but I read this story in the New Testament about how Jesus fed 4,000 people with just two fish and five loaves of bread. He told the disciples they needed to feed 5,000 people, which is probably 10,000 with all women and children there. And they're like, Jesus, are you crazy? And he's like, yeah. So I just want you to go find the food. And they're like, there's no food. We don't have any money. And well, Jesus said, could have hired me as a chef. Yeah, no. So here's what happened, though. He decided to talk to this little boy who had a basket full of fish and loaves. And he blessed it. And they passed it out, and they passed it out. Everybody ate, and then they got 12, 12 baskets of fruit. Left of leftovers. I love leftovers. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's called grace, yeah. It's, wow. It's the good stuff that always comes from God. Uh, love freely given. It's all undeserved, but necessary for life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You should probably, it's, yeah, it's sure it's daily, that. That's what daily bread's all about. Good stuff from God. Undeserved, and yet God loved us so much. Oh, let's try that again. So much so that we're given all we need, and it's always enough. Yes, things we usually want more of, and even though we already have enough, enough, enough. Ooh. Thank you so much, Chef Terry. I am so full. I want to go and take a nap now. Uh, I think you better wash your face. Probably too. wash my face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that Pastor Curry, that'd be a good idea. <laughs> you too, you know. oh, I think so. You know, if I get another drink of water, I could probably, like, wash some of it off. Ah, <laughs> 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 that felt so good. Well, thanks, Chef Terry. Yeah, Thank I, you for this fine I, meal. I think I better... No high fives! Oh, low five? No five? <laughs> No five. I better go take a shower too. Oh, we gotta thank God for our daily bread and the fact that it's so much more than food. And now, well, let's move on to forgiveness. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. So, Pastor Terry? Yeah? I have a confession to make. What? I have trespassed only a couple times in my life. You know, I've snuck into places <laughs> that I shouldn't have been. I went to a couple of old abandoned farms houses down the road from where we live. Creepy and very cool though. One had this really old piano and we played it. I was afraid the ghost would come out so we ran outside. Once I took the senior high youth on a Sunday night to this family's yard and we forked it with plastic forks and we left. Um, and the people who lived there saw it the next morning and they laughed so hard because they knew it was us. <laughs> Oh, but man, I wish I would have had some pink flamingos instead of the forks. That would have been awesome. And then there was this wait, time. Wait, wait, Linda, Linda, Linda. I, I, I get the picture, but you don't have to confess to me all your trespasses, all your sins, at least not right now. I'm sure you have a long list. That's Terry, I've only trespassed on people's properties a few times. Oh, Linda, 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 listen to me, Linda. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Oh, no. You know how many times I've seen that video and how many times people have said, Linda, Linda, you are not listening to me. See, hang on, hang on. Let me explain what a trespass is. Okay. A trespass is to enter or act unlawfully on someone's property. Did that once or twice? Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it's a violation for moral or social ethics. Mm. So trespasses or transgressions well, it's when we go against the divine law of God's love for others. Uh-oh. means we're missing the mark and we are guilty of wrongdoing, and therefore it's a sin. Okay, so now I understand what you're saying. I know and get what sin is. I am sinful. We are all sinful. Sin is our actions, words, deeds, that things that we've done and left undone, and even our thoughts that are hurt and harm others. And sin separates not us from not only others, but from God and ourselves. And even ourselves. You got it. Sin is awful, and that's why we need forgiveness. Yeah. And so forgiveness is part of our daily bread. 
<laughs> it's something that we need every single day. And it's important that we ask God to forgive us just as we forgive others who have said or done things that have hurt us. But we also need to find a way to forgive ourselves because we've all thought that the mean things about ourselves, we've not always taken good care of our, our own selves. Nope, I know I don't take care of myself and say things about myself that are mean. So forgiveness is about letting go of all sorts of things that weigh us down. When we sin, we not only hurt the other person, we hurt ourselves. When we think about it, 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 it we think it doesn't bother us, but in the back of our minds, it's there. Because revenge really isn't sweet. It can ruin our day, and it ruins a lot of relationships. It sure does. So, hey, let's, let's try something today. Uh, with with Anna. We invited her here today because we know she is really strong. Let's see those muscles, Anna. Ooh, there yeah. we go. All right. So are you ready for this, Anna? I'm ready as I'll ever Get your gloves on? All I'm right. On. Well, uh, oh, we have to put those on too, I suppose, huh? Yep. Let's uh, do that. Ooh. I hope I'm the right size because this could be better. I hope you picked the right size for me. I got you extra large. Oh, that would be perfect. Oh. I got extra but I got news for you. Don't blow in them first because it yeah. gets a lot of hot air in there and then yeah. they don't go on very well. They don't go on either way. <laughs> it's ready for an experiment. Oh, here we go. Wait a minute. You sure you're ready, Ann? I think so. I'm being in the doctor's office. <laughs> <laughs> Just what we need. All right. <laughs> Woo. All right. Well, tell you what. Let's talk about her sins. And it's Ooh, here we go. <laughs> All right. The first sin that we have is that you had a fight with your sister. Ooh. You yelled at her and you punched her in the arm. <clears throat> so you have to hold this book. That's okay. the first sin. Yep. Okay. The next one is this. That while you were working on your schoolwork today online, you said some really mean things to one of the teachers that you were watching. Of course, he couldn't hear you. But it was a bad thought, mean words, and very hurtful. Here comes another sin. Ooh, getting heavy, yep. Yeah. And I heard you didn't do what your parents asked you to do. You didn't do the dishes. You didn't take out the trash. You didn't clean the bathrooms. You said, well, I'll do it whenever. And then you decided just not to do it. Disobeying your parental units. Oh, I bet they're mad. And then you called one of your friends a bad name and they said, just joking. And they were having a really bad day and you made it worse. Worse, worse, worse. Now they aren't even speaking to you, Anna. Way to go. And you feel like this. Oh, whatever. Right? Okay. okay. Oh, well, and things weren't going just the way you wanted, so you said, I am just such an idiot. That's not very nice. That's not a good thing to no. say to yourself. No. Oh, and remember that sweater you borrowed from that friend a couple months ago? And then they asked for it back, and you were like, yeah. And then you never gave it back. And then you wore it the other day, and then you spilled all over it, and you ruined it. It was like spaghetti sauce and ice cream and chocolate yeah. sauce and all sorts of things. So what did you do? You just tossed it out, threw it in the trash, you didn't care. Ah. And then I heard they called later and asked for it again. Yeah. I don't know. I think she was with the Swedish chef that time, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, well, you know, she called and asked for it back, yeah. Oh, neon. She asked for it back again, and you said, don't you remember I gave it back to you a while ago? <gasps> Ooh, that sounds to me like a big, fat, juicy lie. Yeah, and then today you woke up feeling really good about everything and say you didn't care about anybody else. You just want to be happy, because don't we all just want to be happy? Because life is all about you. So you went to the coffee shop, and you went and spent some more money, you went for a walk, and then you just didn't come home and do all this stuff. So, you know, it's not really all about you. Are you comfortable yet? Um... My arms are getting kind of tired. Well, here's another sin. Hey, Terry, you got any more sins for her? Well, I, I, one or two. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, your arms are getting tired? Yeah. Um, um, do you want to carry that the rest of the day? No. Can I put these down yet? No, uh, no. Let's see. This is what sin is all about. You know, it weighs us down, and when we ask for forgiveness, 
all the things that we've done, all the hurts that hold us down, well, then we get to let go and start over again. God, please forgive me. Wow, I feel so much better. The light there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Forgiveness gives you freedom. It's letting go. It's starting over. You can ask God to forgive you for the sins you've committed. And these words, these actions, those things that have offended others, those things that separate you from God. You know, and I think the other side, not only are you set free, but we need to say, I forgive you to others. So we forgive someone when they've hurt us, and it's kind of a two-way street. And it helps us to start over in our relationships in a brand new way. It's not easy to say, I'm sorry, or please forgive me. And it's hard to ask God to forgive me, too. I'm learning that life is better when I can start over and begin again. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> you know, forgiveness is an important part of life. It's our opportunity to start over and to try again. So, Jesus loves each and every one of us, died for our sins. Even as he hung on the cross, he forgave the people. When he said, Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they do. So, take the time each day to confess your sins, talk to God about what you've done, and let go of them. Ask God what he has planned for you, that's his will, today and every day. Get out there and share his daily bread with others. And we'll see you next week. <laughs>